In this world where anger and offense takes front and center, Jesus gives us the solution. Freely forgive as we have been forgiven. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, and we read Matthew chapter 18, we are taught by Jesus the importance of humility, seriousness of sin, importance of unity and forgiveness. But it begins with this lesson in humility when the disciples, full of ambition and pride, wanted to know which one of them was more senior to the others in the chain of command of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus used a child as his example in his teaching point, saying in verse 3, Unless you repent of this pride and ambition and become like this little child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. What's a little child like? Well, 1 Peter 2.2 2 says they, they desire to have the pure milk of the word. They're submitted to authority, lifelong learners, and obedient. Verse 6, these children believe, acknowledge, and cleave to Jesus so they won't stumble in sin. Jesus also teaches that although tempt, temptation is necessary in verse 7 because it's for our spiritual growth, don't be the one through whom the temptation comes by. In verses 8 through 9, sin is dangerous. It would be better for us to be lame and blind in this life than to risk being thrown into the everlasting fire of hell. Verse 11, again, so important, Jesus came to die and pay for our fine for sinning for those who were lost in it. Verse 14, it is not the will of the Father in heaven that one of them be lost or perish. What is sin? Verse 18, whatever is forbidden and declared improper in heaven. We are not encouraged to live life alone. Verse 20, Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. And they must not, they must act in unity. Verse 19, for if two of you on earth agree about anything, they may ask and it will be, it will come to pass by my Father in heaven. Because humans are naturally weak, we must be committed to forgive early and often as seen in verses 23 through 34 with a king who forgave a $10 million debt and how those that don't are doomed to punishment. Verse 35, My heavenly Father will deal with all those who don't freely forgive their fellow believers their offenses from their heart. Words of encouragement. Jesus was so concerned with unforgiveness between his children, he even details a path towards helping us forgive in verses 15 through 17. If our brother or sister wrongs us, we are to go to them and show them their fault privately. If they don't listen and and then there are other steps to take. And if they still don't listen, we are to treat them as unbelievers or tax collectors. How many times do we forgive? Not seven times, but 70 times seven. In other words, consistently. Have a great day.